Hello everyone, welcome back to our i3 channel on Android. Uh, here we'll, this is our first public look at the accessibility APIs in Android 2.0. I'm TV Raman, and with me I have. Hi, I'm Charles Chan. Um, so um, let's let's jump right in here. So we showed you our quick app launcher in the previous episode. We are back inside that app launcher, and we are going to launch the settings menu here. Go ahead, Charles. So notice that now we've entered the say, settings menu in Android, and as we scroll around, everything talks. So just let's show that. Well, I don't so as we scroll through, notice that there is an, a label, a settings menu for accessibility. So let's select that. So this is how you enable accessibility, accessibility. on the Android phone. Checked. Once this is checked, what happens is that the basic Android framework raises a set of accessibility events as you interact with the phone. And this, these events can be processed by applications like screen readers and other adaptive technologies to produce alternative feedback. We've written one called TalkBack, which is what you are hearing providing the feedback there. Um, TalkBack is open sourced like everything else on the Android platform. You can find it in the ice free project code base. Um, you will see when you look, examine that code, if you're a developer, that a screen reader for Android is extremely easy to develop now. And that's primarily because the accessibility APIs are built into the framework. What you're hearing for text-to-speech here is the new Android voice. Um, we have voices for US English, UK English, French, Italian, German, and Spanish. So as you can see, we have fairly broad coverage for many of the European English languages, um, and obviously with more to follow in the future. Um, so basic steps in enabling accessibility on the phone are you enter the settings menu, you check accessibility, and then you enable the various access tools you want. From Google, we have TalkBack for providing spoken feedback in the form of a screen reader. We also have two early applications called SoundBack and KickBack that provide auditory feedback and haptic feedback. Now, how you actually do this on different Android devices varies by the make of the device, the model of the device, the carrier, how it is shipped. Um, we plan to cover you know, specific examples of how to do that on a given device um, and that, you know, service provider configuration in later episodes. But at a high level, you have a settings menu with accessibility. It's one option. You check it. It persists across boots. And um, that's principle in the background, as you will see when we show it off in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Okay, see you next time. Bye.